awesome people it's your girl kiana coming back to you guys with another youtube video and if you're new to this channel this channel is all about building our great relationship with god together and a little bit about me but today's topic you guys we're going to discuss how to stay connected to god while being young while being young and trust me you guys i know that it is a very difficult task but with god it's easy and i'm going to get into the word with you guys today to show you how god makes it easy as we draw nearer and nearer to him to live a prosperous life that he's called us to live so i'm excited so the first scripture we have is matthew chapter 6 verse 33 and it says but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you what are all these things a prosperous life everything that your heart desires happiness satisfaction a well-being peace all these things will be added to you your purpose will be added to you if you would just what pay attention to the first part of the verse it says but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness the kingdom of god pursue a relationship with god and righteousness meaning obeying him obeying what he's telling you to do in order for you to get to the prosperous life that he wants you to have anyways but seek first the kingdom of god but what does it mean to really seek the kingdom of god first everything that you do with everything that you do literally should i do this is this the right decision that i should be making should i even be with this person should i even go to the school it should be god first with every decision you make every action you take every word that you speak every thought that you think seek god first is this right is this wrong let the holy spirit guide you you consult him first you ask your daddy hey daddy is this cool or not and most of the time you'll hear that little small still voice which is the holy spirit once you draw near to god in his word and it will tell you hey you, you might not need to do that you may not need to roll that way you need to roll this way roll bounce this way seek the kingdom of god first while being young which means getting into the word meditating on the word studying god's word and living by it i literally was watching a sermon from mike todd and he was basically telling us what we should be doing during quarantine and that's everything that god has been telling us to do during quarantine but he also was saying that we need to be in action so that we won't have any distractions he also mentioned what could he have been doing all those times he made foolish mistakes. He wished somebody had told him to be active and hide in the word of God. So keep that in mind, you guys, to stay connected to God. You want to be seeking God first while you're young. OK, the next scripture we have, and this is kind of the same thing. James chapter four, verse eight, it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Draw near to God. God is calling you to draw near to Him and cleanse. Ask God to forgive you of anything that you feel your relationship has been broken because of what you did or anything that you think God did not like. Ask for His forgiveness. And many times we think, oh, I'd have messed up so many times. The Lord is, he don't want to talk to me. He don't want to deal with me. So I'm just not going to talk to him for like three days. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to see what he's saying. <laughs> and I kid you not, I'm guilty of it. I done messed up. I, I, I did something I wasn't supposed to do. And here I go thinking, God doesn't want to talk to me. God is mad at me. And I need to take a break. And when I get done taking my break, I'm going to come back and I'm going to be like, hey, God. So yeah, I know I did that three days ago. I know you're mad. Can we start over? You, the minute you mess up, hey, God, he already knew he was going to do it. He already knows that you did it. He knows. And he's not mad at you guys. Because if that's the case, he wouldn't have sent his son. He knew that we couldn't do life alone. He knew that we can do none of this alone. He knew we were going to mess up 10,000 times. And so he was like, okay, they're not going to make it. Let me send my son to help them out. And when they mess up, he can always go back and ask God, please make my heart right, Lord God. Cleanse me. 
anything that I've done to keep me out of your fellowship, oh God, and he will forgive you. In uh, John 1 9, oh, is it first John 1 9? 1 9, one of those John 1 9. It says, God will forgive you if you would just confess your sins and make you righteous again. I'm gonna put the scripture right here because I don't want to miss nothing up. But that's what God says. So the minute you mess up, you don't have to feel like, well, goodness, I, I can't do this. This is too hard. It's hard, but with God and Jesus, you can dust yourself off, get up, and try again and do better. And it's not to say, oh, you can keep sinning because that it comes a time. It, it's always that's the biggest lie that you once you're saved, you're always saved. No, you have to be in obedience as a young person and as an older person. Once you bring yourself into the kingdom of God, yes, it's a process for your life to be changed and your transforming of your mind to be changed as you draw near to God. But it is important that you hide yourself in the word and that you be active in the word and be by being active in the word that is by being obedient to the word the minute you learn that hey this is something that i should be doing or this is something that i should be doing or it's something that i should be refraining from so of course yes you want your heart to be in the position of i didn't mean to do that lord please forgive me i am sorry i'm going to do better and i'm going to try to overcome whatever sin that i may be needing to overcome so yes, your heart needs to be right and you don't need to be like, okay, God gonna forgive me anyway. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because you don't want to be in the predicament where the Lord says, hey, I'm ready to scoop my children up and and you're still here. So that's to say that, but to keep in mind, hey, God is not mad with you. You will be forgiven if you mess up and it is okay. And all you need to do is get up and try again and do better. First Thessalonians 5, 17, pray without ceasing. How to stay connected to God while being young. You want to always pray. Always pray. Get up in the morning. Pray. Demand your day. Declare your day. Say the day is going to be an awesome day. Holy Spirit, lead my words. Lead my actions. Everything needs to be declared by you. Our tongue is so powerful. The words that we speak out of our mouth, they are so powerful. And God has allowed us to talk to him. Prayer is nothing but communication with God. Talk to God about your problems. Talk to God about how you want your day to go. Talk to God about anything that you feel that is important because it'll make your day better. Getting into the word when you get up in the morning and praying. Always, always pray. When you get time, in the evening, make some time to pray and talk to God. Just talk to him. Communicate. This is going to help you stay connected to God because while you're young, while you're going throughout your day and you sit and you talk to God, most of the time you praying and talking to God, you're, you're not sleepwalking. You're in the spirit. You're walking in the spirit and you're spiritually awake. It keeps you in the mind of I'm living for God. I say yes to God today. Today, I am a child of God. And that's something you need to do every day. And that's going to help you stay connected. Prayer and communicating with him also grows your relationship with God. That's how you want to be connected. That's how you want to stay connected. By communicating. By reading what his word says. And praying about it. And praying how you want your day to be. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God what is good and acceptable and perfect do not be conformed to this world so that scripture right there is encouraging us to be transformed in our mind and to know that we are representatives of Christ we are representatives of Christ the more you get into the word the more your relationship with God is going to grow and the more knowledge you will have about him and the more knowledge you will have of how he wants us to be. God is our bride. And so we want to be like our bride. We want to get more and more like him. And as we do that, there will be a transforming in our mind. Things will just start clicking just like that for you. Things will be easier. You'll be like, okay, this is what God says about this. This is what God wanted me to do about this. And this is what he's saying to me. You'll begin to hear God more. You'll be able to move easier. 
Because the more you spend time with somebody, the more you gain trust, right? You got to spend more time with God. A lot of people say, oh, goodness, uh, I trust God. But do you really trust God? How can you trust somebody you don't know? Do you spend time with them enough to know that you can trust him? I can tell you now, you can trust God. He will never lead you to a place where you just be unsure about something. It is always going to be upright. It's always going to be in the light. And it's always going to be in a positive atmosphere. God is loving. He is a loving God. And he wants nothing but the best for you. So you definitely can trust him. But to gain trust with people, you spend time with them. God wants you to spend time with him. And the more you spend time with him, the more your trust will grow. And you will begin to make better decisions, I promise you. And it will make you in good connection with God. Now, all of these things that we talked about, because we're finished here. We're not going to any more scriptures. We're finished here. All these things that we talked about in the scripture, being with God, seeking, seeking God first, drawing near to God, transforming in your mind. All of that, praying without ceasing, you want to do that on a daily basis. That needs to be daily. You want to hide yourself and be active in the word of God, seeking your purpose and listening to God for the calling that he has on your life. And also you can lean on your brothers and sisters, have accountability partners, watch things like what you're watching right now, share it with people, devotion in the morning. All of that is going to help you with your relationship with God. It's going to keep you on track and it's going to keep you spiritually awake for what you need to be focusing on it's going to help you and it's going to get easier and it's going to get easier the more you study the more you spend time with god and the more you do it so that's all i have for this video you guys i hope you guys learned something and figured out what god is really trying to say to you about how to grow and stay connected with him while being young all right, so let's pray, you guys. Father God, I just want to thank you so much for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for the people who are able to get on this video to learn about how to stay connected to you, God. We thank you for what you've been doing in our lives now. We thank you for the present, and we thank you for the future. Father God, I ask you that you just help everyone that is watching this video, including me, to just hide ourselves in your word and hide ourselves in the, the way that you want us to live according to your word. Help us to be active in your word and let the Holy Spirit lead us with our words and our actions and our daily choices, Father God. Father God, I just ask that you just help everyone to just be able to focus on what they need to focus on right now in their lives. And if they're not focused on it or they don't know what to focus on, it help them and help them to see what they need to focus on, Lord God. Help us to seek and find our purpose as we draw near to you, Lord God. We want to thank you in advance. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video because I'm excited, you guys. We have more to come. And so if you like the video, like the video right now and share it with somebody that you think would love to see this video. And if you would like to see more videos from me, subscribe to this channel right now. Bye-bye now.